So I'm back with the third song I wrote and record that I do a playback through, uh, walk you through how to play the riffs, and upload them on Bandcamp where you can download them as the whole song, the whole song with the click track, the whole song with one of the Balamas taken out, and with and without click tracks, and finally with all the Balamas taken out, just the percussion and the backing notes like the synthesizers and stuff like that. So for this song, here's my tuning. from the top strings working down and that is A G D. I'm a little bit flat right now but um, it's just I just picked this up and didn't really tune it yet. That's what it should sound like. And I did this on a long neck Baloma with the same tuning. You can also use a short neck. It's going to be the same frets, same tuning. Just be careful with this tuning on a long neck. I've found it's easy to break the high strings. Um, it could be that the short neck has like an 18.18 18 gauge for the, the small skinny string and the long neck set I bought is 0.20. I replaced a string on it that I broke and broke it again just tuning it. So um, I tuned that to a different tuning for now. So use the short neck. Uh, that's going to be the safest way. You can do it on a long neck, just be careful. You know, it's, it's kind of a high tension for the strings. But I've had success with it before, I don't know why I keep breaking strings on it. Could be the cheap strings I bought, I don't know. Anyways, that's the um, third track I've done like this. I'll make a playlist now, by this time, of the songs I've done. But you can find them all on Bandcamp, and I'll put the links in Bandcamp as well to the video. Uh, so we're going to walk through them, and the idea is to try to learn it riff by riff, and try to play along with the song. At the end we have, like I said, that percussion track with just the root notes. So that's also where you want to try improvising. It's three parts to the song. They both are kind of broken into two parts each. And the ending goes is really repetitive. It's shorter than my last one. It's only like four and a half minutes long. Um, the last one was like eight or something. But um, the last part is really repetitive and I put some just improvised solos over it. So I'll have a version where I take those out and then you can try things out like that as well where um, I'm using that scale I showed before, the... That uh, hijaz scale. And also just other notes as well. I improvise with it, like I said. So you're going to hear that playing in the background as I do this intro for the video and get an idea of how it is. Go to that link below for Bandcamp to hear the whole thing. If you like it, you can buy the track and you'll get all the versions of it and you can listen to it as many times as you want on any format you want. You can hear it for free, I think, so many times until you, you use it up and then you get the option to buy it. So uh, let's get started and we'll jump into the first riff, how to play it. So this is the first part. I'm going to play it normal and then I'll slow it down and walk you through it. And it's broken up into two parts in the first part, so the it's two balamas. So the first one is going to go like this and ring out. And you'll hear a second melody come in, and then they start to play it back and forth, like um. through the first one it's all in the middle course of strings and I'm tuned A G D from low strings down so the first one is open then five then eight so we're gonna use one of those microtones and it's a quick it's you could do like a pluck and just hammer hammer or you could try to pluck it all you're running down, up, down for that. So it's open, five, eight, four, 
one five trill to three. So that part's the the first bottom you hear, and then you hear the second one come in on the other channel. It's the same rhythm, but just up on the low strings, on the top strings. It's just fret zero, fret two, and fret four. So O oh, two four. And the trill to open. Um, then you're gonna hear it. two parts I'm gonna play it through on the camera as I record it and then I'll walk through the, the parts <laughs> first part four times um, it's between the low top strings and the bottom strings third fret so one on the low two on the bottom it goes that three times and then we have this I'm plucking three hammer to four pull off to three pull off to open and you can pull off open and pluck again like that so and it's that same plucking pattern for the it does four of those and then the same plucking pattern for these. So that's always this open low string. The bottom string is three, seven, four, three, and it starts on three again. And that's it. So um, the last song I did like this, I did more of a kind of traditional Western way of song structure. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So there's going to be, until I'm done, because I'm writing it as I go again, there's going to be... Uh, different song structure and the more flowing types of riffs. Uh, that's the plan anyways. So on to the next part. Okay, next part. And this one's going to, I think, going to go for a while because I'm going to put some more elements over it, some melodies, but the main thing is really repetitive, pretty easy. It's using the top open string and the middle strings. I'm starting on the third fret. Four, seven, four, seven, trill, back to three. All right, so I'm going to try to record it.
part's going to just go on and get more intense, and uh, it's going to stay in those same chords. <laughs> Some of the keys or main notes I'm looking at. Um, middle course of strings open three and four. Three and four on the bottom course of strings and open. And then the sixth fret of the top string and also the first fret in the open. scale so let's delete the monstrosity I did before and we're gonna give it a try <laughs> change the sound slightly on that and uh, I'm gonna mess with the effects a little bit because it's a bit sloppy or I might redo it but time to get back to editing and I think next step is gonna be there's enough riffs for this I'm gonna start adding in percussion and maybe some other elements so somehow in the undo history I managed to delete the last take or the last whole part so I redid it and I added percussion um, added some frame drum couple doombacks, really small one, medium one, darbuka, and tambourine and some little like shaker percussion stuff like that. I'm going to record as many times as it takes to get something I'm happy with, but I'll record this take. And of course on the backing tracks I'll leave this part out for you to try similar ideas. So let's give it a try. <laughs>
process. I'm going to do some punch-ins and fix some of those mistakes and wrap it up. Mm -hmm.